you, thank you, Jim. And thank you all for being here today. Who knew there were so many Second Amendment rights supporters here in Massachusetts? I'll tell you who didn't know, the people in this building behind us. I join you today as a licensed firearm owner, as a member of GOAL and NRA, and as a defender of the Constitution. All right, shut up. I also join you as a concerned mother of two children. Nothing is more important to me than keeping our children safe and keeping our communities safe. But this bill does more to infringe upon our rights than it does to keep criminals in jail and to stop violent crime. We know what the Constitution says. It says, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Shut up. It doesn't say, shall not be infringed, depending on who controls that legislature. And Thomas Jefferson had it right when he said, the greatest danger to American freedom is a government that ignores the Constitution and they are ignoring the Constitution. That's right. And it is because of the right to bear arms and because of the blood shed by our forefathers from the very first cries of freedom right here in Massachusetts that America is the great nation we have come to be a defender of freedom around the world and this state is chipping away at those rights piling on more restrictions to law-abiding citizens and we need to let them in on something in that building criminals do not obey the law <laughs> And right now, if you are an upstanding citizen who's never done so much as jaywalked in the past 20, 30, or 40 years, this bill might make you into a criminal for wanting to exercise your Second Amendment rights. And George Washington put it very simply, and we need to keep it simple. A free people ought to be able to bear arms. A free people ought to be armed. I will fight to protect the Constitution and everything that our forefathers fought and died for to make America great. Right alongside you. Thank you.